Hello folks, and welcome back to Fallout 4. So, kind of like last episode, or the last couple episodes, I guess, I'm going to be trying out some more weapon mods that I've recently got, while also checking out some places I haven't really been to yet. I'm up here at, uh, Vault 98, which is not an actual vault, it's a mod vault, but, uh... So, first one up to try is the OTS-33 Pernock. I'm, I think that's how you say it. I think it's a Russian pistol, but it's a pretty cool mod. I actually like it quite a lot. You can put a, a little stock and stuff on it, make it automatic, but it's not bad. We're moving more into the Cold War uh, or our modern weapons mods era this time. Then this one, I'm not sure we've if we've used this before, the Mac 11. I think maybe, but I've got it set up this time to be like uh, Snake Pliskins, like from Escape from New York kind of setup. So I want to mess around with that a little bit. Then we got your classic. Tech 9. I'm not sure if I've used this one either. I don't think so, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. And then the MP5K, which uh, there's a few weapons from this mod, but uh, this is one of them. These are really well-made mods. The MP5, this one's like an SD6 kind of setup. You can make it like a, you can really configure these. This is just uh, this version I decided to make of it since the other one didn't have a suppressor. Then we got the Ruger AC556, which, um, it's sort of a strange mod, I guess. It's not bad, but, um, yeah, this, this gun used to be in Fallout, and, uh, I think, I believe it was Tactics, but, uh, we're gonna get try this one. Then we got your classic M60, which isn't a bad mod, but I think it could use, uh, a little bit of help with the sound. Other than that, it's pretty cool. And we got an AKM mod, which I think this is made by the same people that, uh, or the same modder that did the AK-74M that I've used before. This one I've got set up like an MS with a uh, optic on it also. Then we have the Dragonov, which um, this one's a little rundown looking because I forgot to get rid of the rusty textures, but we'll give it a try. And then finally, the Kiapa Triple Threat, free barrel shotgun. Now this is a real gun. I mean, all of these are, but um, yeah, anyways, this one's pretty entertaining. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna head down over here near Vault 98. Uh, I've been into the Fallon's department store before, but I haven't been in uh, Roxbury Station or Milton Hospital or Shaw High School. We'll probably do the high school first. Maybe. Anyways, let's use the OTS for a little bit, see how it goes. No, I've actually used it before, but, um, oh right, there's that, um, there's that little maze or something here. I wonder, I don't, I'm not sure if I've been in here before or not. I know I've been into the Fallon's department store before, but I don't know about this. Let's check this out. This is sort of a strange thing here. Whoa. Uh, hold on. Ah, a head and a beer. We'll follow their directions. Something tells me I've been through here before, but I... Maybe not. I see. Okay. Dead people, gotcha. I hear a turret. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, this thing you can... Oh no. There's lots of different configurations for this. I got the one with the extended mag and one of the three available suppressors and uh, without the uh, stock. right outside. Alright, now how do we go up? I just got completely turned around, I think. Hold on. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, free experience. Not gonna get me with any traps. But I'll get your traps. Mm 
Mhm. But iBot's just hanging out outside, advertising Cambridge Polymer Labs. Which uh, I've already done before. Does that Rad Roach have a Desert Eagle on it? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. The Desert Eagle I've used quite a lot uh, in this playthrough. It's uh, one of my favorites. Okay, here we go. I bought, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to shoot you. If I ever get out of here, that is. Nope. Alright, let's do some VATS action with this thing. Got a lot of weapons to try out, so I won't linger on one for too long. Big old magazine. But yeah, for a pistol, it's really good. Ooh. Oh, hello there. I hear ya. You're looking for someone to... to nuke? Damn it. He won't be a threat. Alright. Switch. Try this Mac with this stupid scope on it. I only did that because I thought it was cool. Because, you know, escape from New York. But, uh, I, I don't like putting scopes on things like this. I think I used this a long time ago as mod. And I disabled it after a little while because I didn't get that much use out of it. But, uh... Since it was a weapon of the period of most of the other weapons I'm using, I figured I'd get it again. I can't remember if there's any point to this. This mess that we're going through here. Get out. Is there anything else? Cool. Stupid, mm. <laughs> Stupid mannequins. Ah. I wonder who set all this up. I mean, someone got creative with the, um, when they were doing this, when they were designing the game. A whole lot of nothing? Okay. Whoever made this place is home. Oh. Bingo. Cool. New paint job. Not that I'm going to use that one, but I think I have that, uh, paint job swapped out for, like, the, um... Oh, some other power armor paint job, so. Anyways, now I got that. Okay, let's get out of this nightmare. Actually goes straight over to Fallon's, it looks like. Okay. What do we got up? Check out the roof, might as well. Sometimes the depth of the field that comes with this ENV gets a little... Irritating. I should turn that down a little. Overall, I really love it, but uh, the depth of field kind of goes overboard sometimes. You have to, like, stop to be able to focus on things. Okay, there's a way into the hospital. Cool. Okay, well, we just want to go down to ground level for now, so... I don't want to go into the hospital from that direction, so anyways... 
I've picked up, looks like I picked up the metro map marker, but I don't know if I've actually been in there. So maybe we'll go in there. See where it leads. Oh no. Huh? What's that? What? Who's there? Quick save. In case something horrible happens. Oh man, the, the kick. Should have put a larger magazine on this. Fires so fast. Oh no, I don't have it. <laughs> Just better to use without uh, aiming through the scope, I guess. What the hell is that? Oh, that was the gun. What the hell? Weird. That was one of those PTRS variants. I wonder why it was called that. Some beanbag rounds. Cool. I still need to do an episode trying out the less than lethal stuff, but uh, I gotta find the right place and right gear setup for that. Whole lot of ammo in that cash register. Rubber bullets. Pretty big station. Thank you. Take those. I wonder where this connects to, if it connects to anything at all. Sometimes they kind of go to nowhere. One mod I'd really like to try in the future is that Subway Runner mod that like connects all the stations. Sounds like a pretty cool idea. I think that's supposed to kind of go hand in hand with the frost mod. But, uh, anyways, let's go in. Someone there. Sounds so weak. Oh, it's Overlord. That fire rate, though, is just crazy. dump in no time. Okay, we've seen the Mac. So, try the Tech 9. This one has a small magazine, too. Almost to ZMB. It's just, like, overbearing once you, uh, ew. When you turn on a light, most of the interior is now. So once I'm done checking out um, weapon mods, which should be this episode, uh, and then I'll just go back to normal with a setup that I like. We're going to go back to doing the main story, and I'm going to go uh, probably do the next Institute mission and uh, Chain on the other side. sever ties with them, which will lead to uh, some new adventures with some of the other main factions. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to wait until um, after I finish the main story to do Nuka War or not. I'm not certain. You know, I forgot to use bats with the uh, Mac. This thing wait, dumps its uh, magazine fast. Reloads really fast, too. Wow. Pretty good model, though. Nice sounds. Handles pretty well. Uh -huh. Got more than enough legendary stuff. I turned that legendary mod back on that lets you uh, do more with that stuff. I had it off for a while because it was making me crash every time I picked up a legendary item, so. But, uh, that's been fixed, I guess. So I don't need to hoard legendary items now. Okay. 
something I forgot to do here. Really? It goes semi? Okay, never mind. Not a VATS gun. I like the sounds on this thing. It's, uh, it's really aggressive sounding. But there you go. There's the Tech 9. So moving on. BMP5K. This mod that added the MP5s also added some quests, but um, they added some weird locations in the Glowing Sea that are really out of place, so I'm not sure I'm actually going to do them. I just wanted the guns. I didn't really want uh, the quest that came with it. It'd be fine if it was something minor, but it, it like some of the places it put in the Glowing Sea are just weird looking. What? Oh. I got excited there like the train was going to take off down the tunnel. Just moved. Huh. The other train. I forgot about this. Station. Anyone else home? I see. Right. Just we're moving the trains around. Um, is this gonna get me further up the tunnel? Confused by this. Oh, I like the sprinting animation with this. Even if it reminds me of running around on Modern Warfare a little. Oh, I see that's the void over there. Oh, never mind. That's the end. That's a weird... Weird. Okay, I don't know how... Get out of here now. So will bring it back to the middle. There's no other... Wait a minute. Whoa. Getting some weird glitches. Sounds. Reload animations. Sorry, whoever you were. Let's see what we got here. Terminal maintenance. West Roxbury Station is to undergo scheduled track maintenance for the month of October. Buses will replace trains, okay. Note to personnel. Please note. Please not. Please note that several maintenance test centers have been set up in the West Roxbury Station to run diagnostics on monorails. I see. These are temporary setups until further notice. Please avoid these stations unless you've been given proper authorization. That's why there's all these weird switches. So what were these people doing here and why did they just sit there and die? Oh, there was a drug deal. This guy had money. This guy had the day tripper. He's got shades. <laughs> All right, there's no way out from this side. No, it's actually just the end. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Try this thing out on something else. So, I don't know... I don't know what you would call this area. I guess it's Roxbury, considering the station name. This general area where these places are. I've been to Fallon's, haven't I? I mean, pretty sure I have an episode about Fallon's. I guess we could go s through there. What the hell? Oh, this has wounding on it. That's right. I guess we could go through there real quick and make sure. Also. Oh yeah. Let's let's check this out over here. Unmarked spot here. Who who are you? Oh, we're in a minute, man. Okay. Nothing new to report. Up, guys. Okay. Why are you guys over in the car dealership? Game keeps like freezing for a second and like hitching. I keep having to resync audio. Weird. Anyways. All quiet, General. All right. 
kind of nothing here. But, uh, yeah. Alright, you hold this, uh, bar showroom thing. We're gonna go into Fallon's. Fight some mutants. What the? That was a little delayed. They might respawn in here, also, but, uh, maybe I haven't been in here. Unless I just missed this, uh, I guess one way to check if I have is to go to the basement real quick. Definitely bad guys in here. Bed. You going? Yeah, it does a little extra damage. All right, well there you have the MP5K. Let's do the uh, SD6. I'm, I think you would call this an SD6. I'm pretty sure. I am not an expert. That's it. Like I said, uh, these weapons aren't always called these things when I get them. Some of them have the correct name by default, but of course once you start modifying them that changes. Or it's something kind of wrong, so I try to give them their real names. Not do that yet. I might be in the wrong spot of the basement here. Should be a radio signal coming out of here. This? Attention, all scammers. My name is Cal, and have I got a proposition for you? How would you like to be knee deep in caps, tech, or hell, even cams if that's your thing? You see, Poseidon Energy left behind more than a couple of run down pre war factories. There are caches hidden right under our noses, containing tech that would make the Institute's head spin. And you can bet that tech is worth a hell of a lot of caps. So what do you say? You help me, I help you, and we make a fortune in the process, huh? Come find me at my lab in between the old lake and the General Atomics Galleria in the north end of the Commonwealth, and we can talk details. Yeah, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. That's from a mod, I think. I mean, I, I know it's not in the, the main game, pretty sure. I could be wrong? I'm trying to remember what the hell that's from. Anyways, that's not the radio signal I was thinking of. I think I might have turned signal off in here, so I might have been in here before. Anyways, let's get rid of these guys and play with this gun for a minute. What's that? Nice. I can't help but feel like these are like animations from like modern warfare. They feel really like that. Like, even the- when you're firing it, it, like, feels the same as, like, using the MP5 on the new Modern Warfare. Face me, you coward! Not to mention the sprinting animation. This place is enormous. Which isn't a bad thing, because those are really well made, you know. Modern Warfare has some really fun weapons to use. Just feels really familiar. I'm operating on the assumption I've already been here. Uh, so I'm not gonna really look around too much. Oh wow. What? That's a new one. Are 
you going? Okay, well, yeah, pretty cool mods, these MP5 ones. They're really well done. Um, anyways, moving on. Here's the Ruger. I got one of the alternate reload animations for this because one of them was weird. They're still both kind of weird, to be honest. The iron sights aren't great, but, uh, yeah, it just felt a little nostal whoa, nostalgic when I saw this in the weapon mod section because I remember using one of these on one of the old Fallout games. I can't remember which one. I think Tactics, but I could be wrong. It could have been in two. It's been a while. Oh, can't go this way. Right, go back around. What do we have here? You know, I don't know, maybe I haven't Sweet. been in here. I would have opened this if I had. And looted all this stuff. Oh, you know what? There's a reason I don't have the radio broadcast. I haven't been to the relay tower that activates it. So I haven't been in here. Okay, so we need to go to the basement. Uh, we don't need the broadcast to get in. Go. Wow. Let's not turn these on. Yet. There's overall, there's not a ton to see in here, I don't think. It's mostly just, you know. Department stores, bad guys. I hear something. What the? But there is something interesting in the basement. Clear out all the mutants first. Go up. Just trying to remember if there's any bobbleheads or magazines. Let's do a quick sweep. Don't see anything obvious. But it's kind of weird. Same with the fact that this thing has like zero recoil. Okay. This might be what I'm looking for. No? Never mind. They're all below me. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's go up to the roof real quick. Just clear that, and then we can come back in and work our way back down. I forgot there's two different areas where there's a basement you can get into, but there should be a little area on the roof as well. Running with no fusion core, mysteriously. Rooftop dining spot. Huh. Oh, it's because it's got the, um, the weird bayonet on the front. I already picked one of these up earlier. That's just a variant of the PTRS, which I uh, showed a few episodes ago. Okay, I thought there was more up here. Just, uh, one mutant and a little diner. Okay. Finish clearing the top here. Or maybe I already did. Why am I getting so many weird graphic glitches today? 
Strange. Okay, I guess that's it. This is the right side for what I'm looking for in the basement. I already went over there. Alright. I could have sworn there was more mutants in here. One of these days, I've spent... It's like over 1,500 hours in Fallout 4. And once have I ever gotten one of those from the machine. The, the odds are so bad. There you are. What the Come over here. Come here, I want to vats you. What the hell? Uh, nothing. Huh. Get back there in a minute. What? Hey there. Well, that was fast. But, there you go. There's actually something I kind of like about this weapon mod, even though it's kind of awkward. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Maybe it's just the yes. nostalgia factor. Anyways, moving on. M60. <laughs> like I said before, this one could use some help with the sound of it. But, uh, otherwise, it's really well made. Where the hell is this going? Oh. Yeah, this place has all sorts of weird- Yeah, okay, I remember this happening. Before this place. Are you gonna fall through the world? No. Yeah, there's a few spots where, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's the ENB or something, but it just glitches out. Wait, this is where I was before. Oh! Oh, I, I think I just missed- I remember now. There's a button somewhere in here. What you have with the radio signal I was talking about is, uh... There's some woman, uh, putting out a distress call, saying she's stuck in the basement of Fallon's. And of course that distress call has been going on for 200 years. Nice. The gasser. And here we are, hidden room. And, yeah, she's dead. You can disable the radio. Storage key. What a shitty way to die. Yeah. Anyways, you're free now. Let's get out of here. Okay. Gonna be, um, doing a bit of a longer episode this time, because I had more weapons to try, and we've got, uh, more locations in this general area to explore. Let's go over and check out the high school. Weird looking place. There is, uh, quests, like, I think they're like radi radiant quests that'll bring you into Milton. And I think there's a more important quest that brings you there later. But there's no harm in me going in there now. Exploring. Means when I go back later, I can just get to the point. I hear like a sentry turret or a uh, sentry bot. What am I hearing? Oh. See what I mean about the sound? It could use a little more, um, a little more oomph behind it. Pretty weak sound. Of. But, otherwise, it's got a cool reload animation. Model's nice. They're really modifiable. Okay, where we got the entrance at? All right. Okay, let's be a little more careful in here. Uh, a little more thorough than Fallon's. Because I think there's a little bit of a story to be had in here. Fallon's the only real unique area of interest was that uh, basement room. Got it. All right, faculty terminal. Memos to faculty and staff. Memo from principal. Oh, 
Memo from Principal Tanner. Uh, hello, as you all probably know, our school has been quite the jump in average, has seen quite the jump in average standardized test scores of, as of late, and congratulations are obviously in order. Since leadership starts at the top and I will be accepting Administrative Officer of the Year Award at the next month's school district meeting, or meeting, they have asked me, eh, pardon me, they have asked I keep my speech short so I have obviously kept my thanks to those closest to the project in order to focus more time on my thoughts and plans for the coming years. Know that each of you has done your part and I thank you even for the smallest contribution. Because of these events you may hear rumors of budget increases to our school. While some of these rumors may be true, the increase will probably be minimal and will be allocated to equipment and facility upgrades. Interesting typo, two eyes there. However, I earmarked a portion of the budget for a faculty staff mixer this next weekend, blah blah. Memo from. Okay. Hello, many of you expressed concern over the delay in equipment upgrades promised recently. Let me assure all of you that I've called the district office and top men are looking into the shipping error. Until then, please continue to work as normal with the equipment we have available. The same equipment, I'll remind of you, that has helped to increase our test scores in order to receive the budget increase. If it's not broke, don't fix it, as I always say. Uh, another memo. Uh, hello, all teachers and staff are hereby given the rest of the week off and should let their students go as well. When you receive this, please cancel all your plans, excuse your class, and leave in a quiet, orderly manner. I'll be very busy in my office adjusting my hairpiece, so under no circumstances am I to be notified or bothered. In addition, all students in Mr. Wellborn's history class will be graded on a scale of A to A- instead of the usual A to F. This change in accordance to recent studies from the district office, and all, and all you know how much I love the district office. I'm an Indian. See, uh, I, I think there was a kid messing with his, his terminal here. Memo. Hello, it goes without saying that I'm extremely disappointed in the gullibility of the faculty during the last week's events. I find it hard to believe that almost all of you did not realize that memo was an obvious forgery. Uh, those of you off for most last week will unfortunately be docked pay for the days you missed. Perhaps this will remind you to be available, available by phone in off hours. Also, please take a moment to change your password on your terminals, as I have been told that the default one has made the rounds amongst the students. In addition, locks are being added to the most doors to increase safety measure. measure. Finally, Mr. Wellborn, Rusty Burton will be absent from your class for the next few weeks. Please have his homework available for him to pick up at the end of each day. <laughs> Some kid got into his terminal. Changed his memo. Anyways, I, I'm trying to remember the story behind this place. There's some sort of catch here. I think they were like giving their students drugs or something. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. Locked desk, okay. That's it. Library key, all right. Here we go. Personal folder. And there's a lot to read in this place. Personal entry, August 2076. Superintendent is breathing down my neck about test scores. It looks like I may be about to lose my job. Lose. It looks like I may be about to lose this job I hate so much. Jesus, first the vault tech sales job, now this. There's got to be some way to get these little shits to study harder. <laughs> I thought about allowing corporal punishment, but some parent will write a letter. God, they don't pay me enough for this. Potential student list. Okay. Private entry. October. Okay, the plan is all set up. I've targeted a small group of detention regulars, students who know how to get things done under the radar and how to keep their mouths shut. I've set them I've set them up with a steady supply of mentats, which they'll distribute throughout the student body. I offer them longer lunch periods and I get better test scores out of the whole thing. Now I just sit back and wait for the federal funding to come rolling in. <laughs> Try to get students to make them smarter. And with that, we are done with the spring sem semesters and it is time for summer. I'll have plenty of fun at the new beach house while the wife is visiting her mother. Only a few things left to tie up, including that meeting with that brat Burton, and I'll be off. Just a few more years of this and I'll be ready to retire. <laughs> Letter from the superintendent. Ronald, excellent work on your numbers. Standardized test scores have skyrocketed since our, la our talk last year. Bravo indeed. As per our discussion, the board and I have decided to grant you a substantial budget increase for the coming school year. A sizable portion should definitely cover raises for the staff and administration. 
They've certainly earned it, and they're not alone, as you'll see on your next paycheck. Keep up the good work. Is this the same memos? Yeah, okay. Remote door can... Door is that for? Ah. I'll be taking all that. Random combat knife. <laughs> okay. Anyways. There's no way there was only one super mutant in here. Overdue book. I see a mutant dog. we got here? Same thing. Same memos. Figures. Ah, ammo. Of course. Go up yet. Hello there. He doesn't have much of a vest. There you have it, M60. Let's do the AKM. AKMS, I guess, in this case. I love these optics, so I put one of these on it instead of just iron sights. Uh, whatever they're called. Um, is it an OKP7 okay or something? Basement. Only good things can happen in a basement where super mutants are. Yeah, this is a, another well-made mod. It's made by the same modder, I think, that did the AK-74M. Very nice quality. Aha. Uh -huh. Butchery. Guess it's about time to go up. Like that. Don't worry, I'm coming. You can stop wondering who it is. Nice. Higher damage than the uh, 74, obviously. Overdue book. Terminal here. Student terminal. Rusty's journal. Okay. Anti-gaming software. Oh boy. This is Rusty Burton. And all you jerkwads trying to reach, read my thoughts better step off. If I find anybody reading this, you're in for an atomic wedgie you'll never forget. Ha, I'm in. This terminal is mine. Can't believe that nerd Clayton fixed up this computer so it didn't don't have to erase so it don't erase everything after class. Little geek done good, but I'm still taking his lunch money today. Maybe I won't pound him so hard, but I gotta eat something. Anyway, this class is boring, but Mr. Ramirez flips out if you don't look if it if it don't look like I'm typing. That therapist my mom made me go to says I should write out my feelings anyway. So what the hell? We'll see if this work works. Jeez, I can't read. Pardon me. Um, Tanner sucks. 
Principal Tanner pulled me out of class today and I was pissed because like I didn't even do anything. Turns out he wants me to do some work for him, told me to start selling men tats around school. I said, what's in it for me, Tanner? Longer lunch time and some stuff taken off my permanent record. How's that for a deal, huh? I mean, I sell stuff already, so no sweat. I just hand out these men tats instead and it's free ride the rest of the year. Even tried a few of them. Man, they make my head feel funny. But it feels like everything Mr. Ramirez is saying makes sense now, right? Weird. You can see how he's there's like lots of typos and he seems like kind of a, a kind of a dumbass. He starts taking uh men tats and then changes. Update. Tanner has kept up his part of our agreement, keeping my lunch hours as long as I distribute men tats amongst the other students. Funny, he doesn't seem to notice that I've also been taking them. My parents have. I came home with a B plus test grid and one that I'd earned myself. I didn't even have to copy off Clayton. Tanner seems pleased though. I haven't quite put together why he would throw his hat in with me and other school miscreants for his, this goal, but I feel like I'm getting closer to figuring it out every day. Intriguing development. I think I've deduced Principal Tanner's plot. After announcing a rise in test scores, it all became clear to me. Tanner hopes to earn himself accommodations from Superintendent Marcello and the school board by raising standardized test scores. An ingenious plan, one the old Rusty wouldn't have pieced together. The old Rusty wouldn't have pieced together, but now... But how to turn this to my advantage? Hmm. My master plan. As I predicted, Tanner leaves his office door unlocked when using the restroom. I was able to sneak in and make a pressing of the key and clay I requisitioned from the art department. Yesterday, using my new key, I entered his office, used his terminal, and found his stash of Mentats. I also read his logs and verified my theory. He's using raised test scores to increase school funds and pocketing most of it. Now I have what I need. I've arranged a meeting with a library study room in the library study room with Tanner. I'm doing most of the hard work. Why shouldn't I benefit from the cash flow increase? Finally, I'll be able to buy that telescope I've been wanting. Okay. So we need to find a library. I still haven't noticed that. Unless that was already in there, but I don't think so. Like, I haven't had to use that key yet. So there must be a door I'm missing. Oh, here we go. Actually, there's a few places I haven't been. Oh. <laughs> Great. Oh, another faculty terminal. Nothing much. It's all gonna be the same. This must be... The other one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I hate the local map on this game. I like the ones on Fallout 3 and New Vegas. They're so much more simple. I can't tell if there's a door I'm missing. I don't think there is. Weird. Maybe the key was just for the bit of lore in here or something. Because I haven't noticed anywhere that's locked that I need a key for. Check the exterior real fast. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you hostile? Huh? Like it marked him as hostile, but they're not shooting at me. What? Oh, that was just a weird glitch. Okay. <laughs> that was a little concerning for a minute. I was like, I never shot the Brotherhood. Just looking for any door I might have missed on the outside. Then we'll go into the hospital. No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm, I wonder about that key. I don't, I looked all over the place. I don't think I missed anything. So I don't know. Anyways, let's find the front door. Oh, here. Plasma cartridges in the newsstand. Anybody home? Hmm. It's awful quiet in here. Area secure. Never mind. Robots. Uh -huh. oh. 
Dead end. Game's pretty brutal. Okay, well, got a few more weapons to, weapons to try. I couldn't hotkey them because you can only hotkey so many. This doesn't seem like the right place to use the dragon up, so we'll use the Kiapa triple threat. Wow. Okay, only way forward through the elevator, I guess. Going down. This thing's got a lot of customization options to it also, but this is the setup I thought was cool. took that. Hello there. Are you friendly? Please remain you silent. are. Okay. You are injured. Huh. What are you doing in here? Beasting nuisance. That, that's dumb. Hey, you want to move? I hate to just frag you. But... Gotta see what's in the room. Oh, hello. Ha. I love the uh, animations for this. Pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy hitting. Trying to remember what quest this is from. It was, um, I know it was one where at the end I had to be real quick about getting someone, uh, before they killed the person they were holding hostage. I'm trying to remember what it was from. It's obviously a quest I haven't done yet, but. Got it. Okay. Right. Oh no! Whoops. <laughs> I guess you can take a shortcut to where I got. This is probably the one that leads to that parking garage maze. Yep. All right. Yep, it's a hospital. Nothing else really to say. The way down. That leads back to. Okay, we don't want to go there. Please remain calm. If All you right. Are injured. I won't kill you. This one, though. <laughs> that view. Ah, uh, this thing's nice. Still, I don't like it as much as the 1897 shotgun, but it's it's a pretty good mod. We'll have to wait till we get back outside, and we'll have to go find some some uh, enemies that are further away to use the dragon off correctly. Yep, I I recognize this area. It's where you had to come in, talk to someone, then real quickly bats and headshot someone. Guys were hostile right away. Oh. Yes. Oh. 
hitting all sorts of wrong keys today. Okay. Definitely at the end. I'll take that. I know I have one. I'm looking at beanbag rounds. Yeah, there's significantly less in here this time because, you know, I'm not doing the quest. But next time, or whenever I do get that quest and I gotta come in here, I can just go straight to it this time instead of poking around. And that's about it inside the hospital. This one gets to live, I guess. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Okay, there's the front. Never mind, they're all hostile now. Jesus. Whoa. That was quick. Alright, now we're done. Go outside. There's still one here somewhere. I must have forgot when I was setting this up to get rid of the rust. But that's okay. Maybe it wasn't an option, of course. There's not a whole lot of sniper rifle mods I like. Uh, there's a few, but um, figured I'd give this a try since I tend to not use them very often. I really like the uh, Barrett M82 and the Mosin ones, but uh, the PTRS is pretty good too just because it's brutal and it's fun. Alright, I need to find a place to, I guess we can just kind of roam around till we come across some bad guys here. Might wait till daytime because it's kind of dusk right now. It's going to be hard to see. Find a place to sit. Okay. I guess while we're at it, we can just go up the relay tower. That would have given us the signal that would have led us into that basement in Fallon's. Speaking of Fallon's, I may have missed some stuff in there. I probably did. But uh, I'll sweep back through in my own time and kind of get everything that I might have missed, but I would have spent a long time in there looking at every little corner, so. Otherwise, we pretty well explored the Roxbury area. I don't remember what other signals this thing gives. Oh, great, mole rats. Perfect thing to use a dragon arm on. <laughs> okay. Sounds just like a, a combat rifle or something. Doesn't have very good damage. What in the hell am I witnessing? I have no ammo for it. Oh no. Ah. Uh, great. <laughs> Whoops. I can fix that real quick in a non-legitimate way. I could go back and to my ammo stash. But, uh, hold on. Oh, that's because it takes 762 by 54 millimeter R. I forgot to change my carry weight back. I turned it way up because I was, uh, carrying around a bunch of weapons and it, I forgot to fix it. It's still 20,000. Okay, now we got some ammo for it. I probably, I forgot to craft ammo. Some of these have their own unique ammo, of course. But you gotta craft. The Miller Family Broadcast. It's in the general area anyways. This uh, salvage site over here, and I haven't been there yet. Big John Salvage. The Miller broadcast comes from there. And we should do this. Let's go for this one, too. Okay, so unfortunately the game just decided to just stop right there. <laughs> it's not done anyways. I'll go back to the, the salvage spot uh, next time I play. And we'll finish that up. Uh, there's no reason. I'm, I don't want to boot it back up at this point. We've been running long enough. Anyways, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.